You are listening to Pacific Beer Chat. We are a collective of West Coast beer bloggers sharing our opinions on events, issues, and well-crafted brews. We discuss both local and international issues and aim to educate and entertain. We are a part of the Hopped Up Network. Back in May 2017, Pacific Beer Chat hooked up with Off Notes Podcast to do a collaboration episode. We drank collaboration beers with Brenna and Paige and discussed the collaborative nature of craft beer. Between the airing of part one and when part two was to air, my computer hard drive crashed and I lost everything. Things just changed today, on November 16th, 2017 though, when I found my old GoPro memory card and found the original video files. The audio isn't perfect, but the episode is too good not to air. So just before we start the episode, here's a word from the Hopped Up Network. Hopped Up Network is a group of independent beer podcasts devoted to providing insight into our local craft beer communities. You can visit hoppedupnetwork.com to hear more podcasts like this one. Attention fellow beer geeks, check out Drink and Geek Out, the podcast where we drink beer and geek out. The show is half geek chat and half beer reviews. Typically reviewing one in beer, a beer from Indiana, an out beer, a beer from somewhere else, and a strange brew, which is a mystery brew where we try to guess the unique flavor. We also do mini episodes that we call light episodes where we can really geek out on a specific topic and review a beer that is somehow related. Check us out on all the podcast apps or on social media at Drink In Geek Out. On this episode, we had Carnell of Breward Inlet, Mike of the Beer Raider, me, Mike's Craft Beer, and our very special guests, Brenna and Paige of Off Notes Podcast. This episode will be episode 15.5, so please look back and listen to the original episode before starting this one. You can also find the link back in the show notes on pacificbeerchat.com. Hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we did, and I really hope that Off Notes Podcast will come back for a second season. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so the one I brought was. Uh, nice. <laughs> Invested. I swear to God, I didn't mean it was. And I honestly thought someone else would have it, but I brought the, uh, the Belgian Pale Ale, which is the Brewer's Co- Brewer's Row collab, uh, which is between all the Brewer's Rows and breweries. So Twin Sales, Yellow Dog, Moody Ales, and Parkside. And the plan is to do this every year between those breweries, rotate Aww. through them. And the proceeds. Cool. Yeah, the proceeds go to um, a, a local charity. So this year it's the Sassamount Fire Department. Sassamount Fire Department, I think, takes care of like Belcara mm. and Anmore, which is a really beautiful area, but it's small villages. It's like the suburb of Port Moody, which I find hilarious. Um, <laughs> the suburb of a suburb? Yeah, yeah the suburb of the suburb. So anyways, um, they did a Belgian pale ale with peaches. It came off really nicely. And uh, yeah, actually there's another collab coming from the same group. Oh, it's dark. Yeah, it's a little bit dark. It, they're doing a hazy, they're doing the VCBW beer, which was a, um, they did a launch for the brew, the actual brew sort of launch for it. Um, so it's gonna be a hazy uh, pale ale, pale ale yeah. uh, in four packs, and that'll be the new VCBW beer. And um, I don't know, I think I think Brewer's Row is one of the coolest things going. I, basically that's what my whole blog is about, is just about uh, the Tri-City area and what's going on there. But I think it's a, I, I always say it's the best place in Canada to get a beer. Um, because I think you've got really, really high quality beer coming out. You've got it in a beautiful place where you walk out the front door of any of these breweries and you're at a beautiful park on the ocean. Perfect. And um, you've got it all within 350 meters, which basically means there's a brewery every 100 meters. I heard it was 400 meters. Maybe. Maybe. Who cares about that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, I think when we talk about collaboration, I mean, obviously these breweries are brought together by geography, but it is really cool. I mean, um, working in this area, um, I mean, one of my best friends works at uh, Parkside, his girlfriend works at uh, Yellow Dog, um, you know, down the street at Moody, everybody knows each other, everybody knows each other, and it's not just sort of a collaboration between breweries once a year, it's everybody helps each other out all the time. I know mm-hmm. bottling machines and canning machines sort of move in between. It's, it's a lot of fluid, right? Like, who's got this hop? And like, it's literally like, knock, knock on the door, yeah. like, I think a couple of hops. Um, it's pretty cool that way. I need a couple of pops. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing you could say, Port Moody, it's not a big deal. Oh, it's awesome, but it's worked for them 
marketing wise. Because yes. now they're a destination. It's worked for the, the city of Portland mm -hmm. to bring people in. Sky train didn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 awesome. I wish there were more of that. I'm close to White Rock. It's White Rock. It's great. And then there's a, there's another one opening up just down the street. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to the owners there. And I'm like, don't worry. This is a good thing. Because yeah. if we had three or four breweries in White Rock, People there's going to be so many people coming. That's right, young people would come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of old people. And there's massive you know condo developments going in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bring yeah, there's a huge the development going, going up there. It's, no, it's, it's quite, quite nice. Noisy. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Peaches are pretty strong. Mm -hmm. with, the, with like, it's the advent of sours and then hazy. Yeah. IPAs. The, dis the discovery. <laughs> discovery, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we invented it. We yes. invented this country. When are uh, Americans just yeah, it's too bad for the Belgian yeasted beers that fall by the wayside, but I think it's like oh, it's, uh, using a Belgian yeast in just about any beer can just really add a little bit of, mm -hmm. uh, make a little bit more dynamic. Mm -hmm. And if it's done well, it can come off really well. What I really want to see happen um, is some of these uh, breweries doing all the hazy beers to just, you know. Chuckin' some Belgian yeast in that thing as well. Although from what I understand, it's the yeast they use in those hazy beers yeah. doesn't let things drop out of... Um, but, <coughs> but, you can definitely use two yeasts. You can, yes. yes. You can so, but that, right. the Belgian yeast, <laughs> yeah. you have to be careful that the Belgian yeast doesn't let no. that haze drop out though. But I'm willing to mm. experiment, Mike. So oh, yes. Everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> This, this, this <laughs> took a weird turn. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to pump Beer. the first one. Um, yeah, so just like, don't get married and just experiment. That yeah. was the big player. Yeah. Well, yeah. um, <laughs> egalitarian utopia. That's that's right. Right. Yeah, this is <laughs> interesting <laughs> utopia you're building here. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm not against it. <laughs> 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 Can we get a Belgian, an Imperial Belgian IPA? Oh yeah. Is that on the table, Twin Sales? Now, make it happen. You <laughs> are way over serving the ability to have to influence anything there. Yeah. Oh, no, that was from their product. Oh. Well. And, that was, and then I was yeah. like, oh yes, this works well. What's up? <laughs> yes, we should just, yeah. You never know. Well, actually, I mean, like, if you want the the space terminal of like the Sactua, I don't think that's necessarily specifically Belgian, is it? The, the I don't space. know really. But that's basically what space terminal was. It was, you know, sort of a, a funky yeast with a hazy beer. Like, it, yeah. like go for like yeah, like the northwest or sorry, sorry, the northeast style. Yeah. Of, um, like a cloudy, kind of skunky, mm -hmm. resiny, but malted and hopped, like just amped right up, and then put it all in. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, I was just. Thinking. Oh, okay. it's the kitchen. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes all make sense. P.S. This building is totally haunted. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So there's some bulls in there. Sleeman, the ghosts of Sleeman uh, beer runners are, are haunting us right now. Nice. They can speak up. I don't care what they have to say. I'm sure it's on the table. Check the, check the video later and you yeah. see those yeah. walking by. <laughs> I wish I was better at editing and put one of those in. Oh, Just get the ghost emoji. It's <laughs> 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 like Pac Man stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a Sleeman. Sleeman versus Logan. Yeah. Oh, 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 Like, how can we amp this up? Like, can we get an imperial brown? <laughs> you can do like, that. Twin tails. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there was there was lush crush. That was like three yeah. and a half percent. Yeah, it's that that some tokes, isn't it? Yeah, like, that's what I have in my it to send to the newbies. Okay. The, um, uh, they have a name, Halations or something. Like, the, like Halifax people or oh. like Halations or something. Halutions, hallucinogens. The hallucinogens <laughs> <laughs> works for me. <laughs> They have a, they have a name for their, like the, yeah, like the Haligonians. Yes, thank you, Haligonians. I like yours better. I feel like they're Haligonians, I would not figure out where they're from. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you hear like, 
Vancouver, right? So we go to Caledonia. Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, we're uh, sold. Do you guys want to hear a fun? I know you do. Yeah. I learned a fun fact this weekend at a talk at a museum in Courtney. Mm, okay. <laughs> that uh, when Captain Vancouver was here and he was like sent to negotiate with Captain Quadro, the Spanish <coughs> captain, they were like fighting over Vancouver Island. Yeah, the they were gay. No, they had a fucking bromance though. They were supposed to be negotiating over this territory that like, England and Spain were gonna yeah. were, like prepping to a war over and uh, Quadra had like brought wine and like fine food up from New Mexico <laughs> and they would just like wine and dine each other and have like this gay old time. In gay old time, literally. <laughs> and then you used to be in some It was the gay 1790s. Um, <laughs> Awesome. And that's that's meanwhile, Vancouver yeah, would like Vancouver would like wine and dine with Quadra, and they would wine and be gentlemen together, yes. and then he would go to his, his captain's cabin and like write in his diary that he was just like emotionally like okay. torn about that he was like having this romance with Quadra when they were supposed to be negotiating to avoid war, and that he was like supposed to be trying to get the land away. And be like, we were killed first, motherfucker. And he was like, <laughs> no, it's his war tone. <laughs> 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 How do you get your wig so powdered? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the Napoleonic War started. <laughs> and Spain was like, you know what? Never mind. We have bigger problems. Let's ally them in England. Let's not fight about this tiny little island on the other side of the world. And then they were both like, bros forever, follow me on Facebook. <laughs> you should read um, Burning Water. Um, it's it's uh, historical yeah. fiction about. Um, George Vancouver and Don Juan Quadra. Don Juan. Don Juan Quadra. And when they're going up and down, and in this, that's why I said, were they gay? Because in the story, they were gay lovers. They may have been. They may have been. We don't know for sure. Romances are And it's, it's awesome. So it's like they take the historical fact that they were here, here in this point, here in this point. But, in a but they basically, I think it's uh, Bowen, Bowden. I can't remember who wrote it. It's, like, it's my favorite book of all time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just reimagines their relationship. The Brokeback Mountain at the Northwest Coast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> same story. Uh, my favorite line is like, <laughs> they named Vancouver Vancouver and Quadra Quadra <laughs> because they wanted to be for, together forever. They were supposed to be. It was a, Vancouver Island was originally called Quadra and Vancouver Island, yeah. and then later they just dropped it after Quadra left to Spain. You would never know about it. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, we'll just give them this small island. <laughs> but yeah, I love that line. Like they reimagined it as They're holding hands. And then yeah. Oh. It was cool. So it was all based on historical fact, and he just sort of filled in like the in-between parts. Like I think is this guy Menzies, he still has a street in Victoria. Mm -hmm. like, they're still like the like yeah. top family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And oh so, yeah, they imagine that he was like I think mm -hmm. he was like he was really frustrated with George Vancouver. Like, he wasn't letting him do any of the like horticulture flower things, so he shot him. Oh. <laughs> like, Got real, real, real shot quick. Well, it makes you do weird things. This is a delicious. Speaking of opening up, well. Sweet. Ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's more? This almost sounds like a cheesy. Like a I think that's what I didn't. There's like a sturdiness to it that's just not for me. It's, it's just like the peach. Like a, I think. Mm -hmm. I think the yeah. peach does. Like peach it's weird things sauce. to beer. It's, is that yeah. I've seen it executed so poorly so much. This one I actually like. But I think this one's peach is one of those things when most people look at a beer, especially in the summer, and they're like, oh, peach, peach, this is gonna be great. Like, and then you taste it, it's like, oh. <laughs> Do you know much about the beer? I think it was pretty yellow dog. Okay. Okay. Well, I know it's, it's got the yellow dog it. logo on it. So they did. This actually comes out of I think the. Karaoke here at BCW. Twelve minutes. Yeah. What do you mean? Wait, every Saturday? <laughs> yeah. Saturday? No, no. I think after BCW, there was people dancing without shirts on. The guys and stuff. Yeah. Aww. Got a little, little wild. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a week or two from now. Oh. Yeah. BCW. Oh no, no, it wasn't BCW. It was BC Craft Beer. BC Craft. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But Vancouver Craft Beer Week is in like three weeks. Yeah. This summer I have weekends and evenings. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, were you still talking? <laughs> really, like now that I just like had myself another splash because I was talking before and mm, I was thinking about Vancouver and I didn't really get into this at all. <laughs> Not the place <laughs> the guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that powdered wig and those like, tights, <laughs> those caps. Um, <laughs> that's well, syphilis. Oh. <laughs> yeah, kind of gets the way, doesn't Love it? Love that. It. <laughs> 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 um, but this is really a 
Homeless is like fishy, and I, I'm not a fan. I don't eat any fish, but I kind of like it in my beer. It's like it's like rotten peaches that smell a bit like fish. Like, well, that's no, but that, that fishiness isn't that normally from seaweed, not like Irish moss that a lot of beers and this is like a clarifying agent. Can oh. sometimes like a residual like seaweed. But it almost has like a blue cheese as well. Mm -hmm. it's just yeah, yeah, really yeah. stinky. I wasn't looking really for it, stinky, to be honest, um, but gym sauce. Like oh. sweat, sweat sauce. I think that's the official term of that. No. Sweat sauce. Sweat sauce. <laughs> Sounds Interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Weird, yeah. weird yeah. flavors that come out of it. Yeah. What do you look for? Mm -hmm. Same with wine. Like cat pee, that's what you yeah. want. Yeah. Especially that's citra. Mine is like yeah. specifically cat pee on carpet. Yeah. Like when a cat pee's on carpet and you try to get it out, that like smell, that slap. That's what I get from mild. I just want to make sure that everyone says aroma. Aroma? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them to know flavor. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You don't look it up. But you're going to use your nice little. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to get cat pee out of a carpet is to just suck it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. You heard it here first, folks. We're hanging out in the sink. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I don't have cats. It's fine. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't have cats. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah. you do. You can't give me a bit of an asshole during podcasts, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so his name is Lieutenant Commander Data. Of course it is. It's a name. He has a mustache. Yes, he does. My, I tried to name my cat, my cat Captain Vancouver, and my mom was like, no, don't do that. No. So I did. Veto from mom. But Theo is supposed to be Captain Vancouver. Oh, I know, but Theo is a much more appropriate name. He's, He's not nasty enough, enough at all to be Captain Vancouver. Well, maybe he was. <laughs> He's, just, he's not regal enough to be a British naval officer. <laughs> he's like, dude, because he's just licking his balls in the window. <laughs> he hasn't matured past that stage, that Freudian stage yet. Nice. Um, yeah. All right. Next beer? Well, we <laughs> <laughs> no, so I thought we were still talking about that. Yeah, it's, it's the karaoke showdown from Yellow Dog and Steel and Oak. Oh. I what style this is. Uh, it's a hot, hot dog. Yes. I love doppelbots. Lenin styles for innovation of taking like traditional European styles mm -hmm. and making them new world. Mm -hmm. um, this was a recommendation mm -hmm. from uh, Bryce Logan from Let's Watch That Podcast. Mm -hmm. He loves this one. Mm -hmm. So much blue cheese there. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. He's lovely. Let's watch it. Let's watch that. It's, it's a movie review podcast, but he always like drinks beers and reviews beers. No, and sick. then talks about a movie and he random movies, not just like what's He about. always has his guests recommend their favorite movie. So we have we have an episode coming out uh, at the not this next Thursday, but the one after, where he came on and we all presented one of our favorite movies and then paired a beer with that movie. Except on our own. We didn't oh. do it in a, but and then we just like picked our favorite characters from various movies and the beers we thought they would enjoy. Or what we would drink. It was a hilarious episode. Uh, but so I recently went on his podcast and we watched Detroit Rock City and then we drank a lot of beers. I mean, this is what he recommended as a nice. collaboration. I wonder what the crow would drink. <laughs> Probably very <laughs> little. Sports beer. What did oh. we come up with? I feel like we had some good ones. Such a uh, Snow White's definitely a sour kind of girl. Yeah, we were pretty all about those oh, words. Right. So I vaguely remember a student was around. Yeah, but 
ideas would have been gaining the popularity in England and it would have been trending, and she would have been in the British. Well, like, I think the, it was trending in the 1640s. <laughs> but it was like, it would have, she would have been in the court, and that's what the court would have been drinking if it was like on trend. They would have been drinking beer in the court. Why not? Rolling wine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. If yeah, she's you think nobody court. snuck in a beer or two? Come on. Not unless you're Just in Russia. Wine. I'm serious, no, man. I don't think I mean, so. I mean, it makes sense that like, wine would have been the more sophisticated. It would have been wine, yes. Yeah, but wouldn't settlers always come over with beer? Like they, no, because beer would only keep for like it. two and a half months. I don't know how long, unless you get a good yeah. trip. <laughs> <laughs> but when, Just because it hasn't been gone bad doesn't mean they would have drank it. I mean, you know, alcohol. I'm used to Indian in the 1700s. By the 1800s, it was being sent to other colonies. Oh, was it? Yeah. I learned something. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. What's it they... your podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a dish. I have a dishwasher now. <laughs> I'm so yeah. That's so literally. You've gone away from the movement. You've like moved up the so the socioeconomic right. scale. You have a dishwasher yeah, now. Got my own place with a dishwasher now. So. You don't need your dishwasher anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit about beer history. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a lack of luxury. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I wish I had a dishwasher. It's the best. It's the best. <laughs> I was washing the pan the other day and I was like, fuck this. I'm going to the machine. Putting my Teflon pan in the dishwasher yeah, because I'm recording a new one. I've got a cast iron pan that I love to use now. Oh. And it's like, you don't, you don't wash that you shit. You can't wash them, but you gotta, you gotta wipe them out and clean them and use like a salt scrub to get them out. Wet. To be honest, so I do that even with my just like Walmart pans. I just don't wash them and I let all the flavors. We oh. <laughs> <laughs> move on to a nail coated dish. I just dish, dish cake like <laughs> All I like is pierogies and tofu, so <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah, that's this beer tastes really good. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you know it gets easier after you've had five different beers, and they all yeah. start tasting good. Yeah. But no, it's got, it's fairly sweet. Like it's probably one of the sweeter ones we've had. Oh, it's it's sweet. What I've noticed lately is time. that there's been like with North and South East, there's been a real push to fresh beer. Yeah, I mm -hmm. I saw that push like. When I first started getting beer about five or six years ago, there was a push, like, I remember um, Mark Jacobs group. That was actually their tagline, drink what? fresh beer. Yeah, yeah it was Mark Jacobs group. Yeah. Mark James? Or? Mark James? Mark James. Mark like, James group. Like, um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yale <laughs> Town. Yeah, Mark James. Sorry, because it was trendy. Yeah, what's the tagline? But their tagline was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 was okay. <laughs> drink fresh beer, and then we started coming away from that, and it was sort of an issue, and then with Northeast IPAs, it's been coming again, like, drink it fresh, drink it fresh. Drink it local. What is that drink it fresh? In Vermont, if it's over two weeks old, they won't drink it. No. But I still think those beers do well. Like, I think the best example is um, the Tone Deaf collaboration between Boombox and Twin Sales. I literally got the last pint of that beer. I know this for a fact, because I was there closing, and I was I know this for a you fact. Are fucking bad. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, they just did a collab last week. Yeah, um, but that last pint I had was the best pint of it. And I know, guys. I know. Who compared this? Where? Is there so I did it. I did it. I did it. I did Everyone, everyone, you poured. Yeah, that one's better than this. No, taking an eye drop. And I know. I know. Not as good. Not as good. A couple of the owners also have. Um, they kept uh, cats, and we've been talking about this. They've been having them every couple weeks, and yeah, like that beer. Like I know it's a northeast style IPA, and it's supposed to be great, um, fresh. It's gotten better with age, honestly. And uh, this one too, because I had this early on when they they first released it, and I wasn't into it. And this is the best version of this one I've had, and this is like almost a month on now. I think. Yeah. I have to agree because when I first opened it, I, it was good, but yeah, it's my favorite. Now it's really, it's really good. Really good. Yeah. I'm getting a really specific note. Are you guys ready for it? It, is it off? Capers. Um. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't I sound off. I can see that. <laughs> it's interesting because... It's, maybe it's like salty? It's no, like I, I sea, sea water salt. Yeah. Interesting. It was like a... Like a I don't like something? capers, yeah. so yeah. it tastes like anymore. What? It's off. I'm not going to be fat. You're out of my room. Right. The invitation is going to be... You like capers, you like olives. I love olives. I hate olives. Have you tried a paper Olives are everything that's wrong with the food industry. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Sweeping that's statement. My, that's my statement. Olives? Olives is what's wrong with the food industry? Olives. Fuck the same, Ellie. Just olives. What's a caper? What's a caper? I like capers for the things you've been doing. This is how I explain it. It's just something you got to get into. It's a sea berry. 
Really? I love seafood. Maybe I eat that. No, it's you know when you order, you probably have it's seafood. usually yeah. on you the get side. like right. you get um, salmon and lox. Yeah, like the salmon and lox, and there's that little green brain on there. Okay. They're a butt. It's a delicious paper. They're, uh, they're like uh, little uh, flower butt. Those are usually salt ones. Good. Salt buds. I mean, we're drinking something made out of flat buds. Yeah. <laughs> They're all buds. Everybody's friends. We're all buds. Yeah. <laughs> you guys must make paper puffs. Really <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Jeez. Oh, I wanted to tell you that I made it. Sorry, this is so much. Just a quick one while well, it's on my mind. It's going to be a hard one to edit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the very little editing that's going to happen anyway. Speaking of stealing Paige's puns, um, she made the joke logger. I heard the knower on her logger episode. And yeah. then there's these Irish guys. Like, I know what it means. There's these two young Irish guys, and they always drink Jaeger bombs, but one of them is really enthusiastic about it, and the other one doesn't want to, and his friend always makes them. And then he was like sipping it really slowly, and he was like saying something, and it's not going to be a bomb, it's going to be like a peace treaty. Sipping it all night, he's like, Lager all night, and I was like, Lager? For Jaeger? I heard the knower. choreography in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. Yeah. That's what you get when you marry a triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just waiting for the point that she gets really famous, really rich, and I can just sit around and drink. Perfect the blog. Swim the blog. I'll yeah. pay people to blog. Let's drink. Like, write this down. Maybe you guys are I drank this one. I drank all of it and I liked it. Thank you. And I put a shirt on and tell them how good it is. <laughs> Anheuser Busch did just buy a beer blog on the East Coast for a million dollars. Anheuser Busch. Yeah, they we're independent that. for life, right? A million bucks? Million no. bucks. I, I, you know what? I, I tell them to You'd buy yourself a small home for a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I'd have a small mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it. I, I'd sell some. Oh, god, gotcha. just write the dumbest post ever. Oh, I'd probably walk away. I'd sell it and then just start up a new one doing the exact same well, thing. Well, there's always going to be non-compete clauses. Mm -hmm. So you have to start a spirits blog but or something. But then you just, yeah, like get whatever else is trending at the time, mm -hmm. and then you just start a blog. Well, I mean, yeah. that's what um, Ballast Point did in California. They got a billion dollars for their brewery. Oh, my goodness. So, like, okay, we can't, you know, they stuck around for a little while. We can't open a brewery. Let's open a distillery. Is that what they did? So all the money's going to the distillery now. I had a pineapple sculpted in LA, and it was. I checked it; it was fresh, yeah. unreal. And I, I, I know you wrote your post about sculpt and how it wasn't really doing it. But this was well, like that wasn't it. The fact was, it was just less. I fresh. liked it; it was good. But the, the point is that it, it didn't do anything. This this yeah. one in particular was like because I thought about that. I, I read it, read your post, and then um, I was thinking about it, and this was the best West Coast IPA I've had in a long time. Wander, no, no, sorry, not Wanderlust. Um, Breakside in Portland. Yeah. The Wanderlust IPA fresh. It's mm -hmm. the same level as me. Unreal. Unreal exactly. when it's fresh. Um, as far as West Coast IPA. Yeah, and Yellow Dogs, too. I still love their plated IPA. I guess it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that it's and the Steamworks really flagship is. Yeah, but four like, beers. I got into the plated because it reminded me of the flagship. Like, those uh, are my. Yeah, my there's, there's some beers that, like, the West Coast style, I think, is so, like, it's, it's peaked. And I love this no. piece. I like. I like. I think there's been. I think it had to be not because we don't like them, but every brewery was maybe making one or maybe not opening with an IPA, and then the Northeast IPA showed up here. Everyone's now brewing multiple IPAs. Mm -hmm. IPAs exploded again. Yeah. Whereas, like, we did a podcast where we kind of said that IPA had been kind of dead here because. It was dead. It was no, like, I, I, I love IPAs, but I wasn't drinking them. I was literally saying, the IPA is dead. Yeah, exactly. I play dead, play dead. IPA play dead. Yeah. 
There we go. That's good. It was ahead of its time. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, they changed that recipe though. Like it, it's been changed. It's not the same. Oh, so course. Just see. Yeah. Interesting. It's, it's a great one there, and they're uh, oh, high five. Yep. That would explain the customer that sent his feedback and said it was a pill. Oh, <laughs> and he was. He had a lot of thoughts on that. That <laughs> seems weird. I think that's actually more maybe the case was wrong. Yeah. What happens? Or it tasted like, like a pill. No, it wasn't. I it wasn't he was it had just been delivered that day from Yellow Dog, and huh. he was like irate and called Yellow Dog we were serving the wrong beer after we poured it for him twice. Mm -hmm. That's bizarre. Mm -hmm. But maybe because well, you're control. forgetting that some people are stupid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't forget oh, that. Oh, no, yes. No. And <laughs> that's like my general question. Your, your opinions, they, they don't get stronger, that's for yeah. sure. So. You think they do. Um. Um, I'd like to say that Karyoku is my favorite beer so far. I'm it was really very, very good. Who makes it? Yellow it was, dog and, and steel and oak. That's delicious. It's very, very good. Yeah, it was. Well, there's and you need more cans of it. In. Yeah, there's some more cans of that, but we're out of the different uh, collaboration beers. The Carnell brought one we can uh, yeah, yeah. share here that's not a collaboration, but you're never going to get it here. So, so this this beer, uh, I recently got heavy into beer trading, uh, especially down in the States, and I found some really cool um, beer traders all around. This one's from a guy, I guess, in the Boston area, and I think his username is at B O P. I D H D A H at Bopita. You're supposed to. <laughs> what? It's what Instagram. People come up with crazy names. Um, and I, I say that because, like, you know, if, you, if you're trading here, you should get that person that you're trading with. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Trillion is, is known as sort of being at the peak of that uh, hazy IPA, um, juicy IPA trend. And this is their third year, um, three year anniversary beer. Uh, it's a pretty special beer, so. I was really stoked when he said he would give me some. And uh, Trillium has made the absolute best KZ IPAs I've ever tried. Um, this one is right up here to top. So uh, it's been sitting in my fridge for a while, and I find the problem is when you get all these beers, it's finding the right time to drink them. And I thought, fuck it, uh, we're all getting together. People who appreciate this, I'd love to get share it with you. So this can be, you know, our little class. Thanks, Cal. Uh, Thanks, Cal. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. Does anybody want a fresh glass for it? I still have PVC. Oh. Really <laughs> so, uh, I've been rinsing my glass up here. It's like she has a dishwasher. Please enjoy. <laughs> it's totally uh, cool. This is called. Egalitarian <laughs> Utopia. That's right. <laughs> we built it today. Um, in this room, at least. This is called The Streets. And it's because they name one of their beers after streets, I guess, in the Boston general area. And uh, it's, it's top notch stuff. Not to, uh, not to take away, but you guys had the streets collaboration from last year from up here? Yes, not the same. No, I imagine it's not, <laughs> not the same year, right? Not the same it, was, it, was, it was more like it's a collaboration hug. Yeah. Yeah. The, the streets and there was a collaboration hug. No, it's like, not, not the same quality. Cut that It was Powell Street. The, the brewery formerly known as Powell Street. Powell. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Powell Street Main Street. Main Street. Yes, because yeah, they were it was Powell Street and Main Street. Oh, so they were the streets. But now they can never do that. So there's some age on this. It's 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 not as pretty as it was, but I mean, I take don't a want it now. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take a smell. You can smell it from here. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like super orange, and mango. orange and mango. Oh whoa! So good. So what is it, Jeff? And it's just, it's, okay. if you've heard of West Coast IPA, it's, it's not, it's not what it is at all. Oh, I, I, I've gone, I've done the drive-by. Uh, oh, it's five alive. Honestly, number five alive. Also, maybe we should get into the opposite of collaboration and like the bio that happened on the yeah. first row. Like, uh, it was like the first ever, I can't remember who it was, and like R&B got bought or R&B did the buying. Like somebody on Brewers Row bought out somebody is what I'm talking about? No, oh, House Sound got bought by R&B. No, other way around. Other way around? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. R&B was bought by House Sound, yes. And it was like the first ever time that a craft brewery yeah, bought an other uh, brewery. Well, in Canada, I think. I think in Canada. It's happened in the States a lot. But, uh, but R&B was struggling. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of, the, one of the two owners it just kind of lost his passion. Mm -hmm. And the, the brewery was struggling. And, um, how Sound saw an opportunity to increase the production. Originally, the idea yeah. was to start producing their beer at R&B. Yeah. But since they purchased R&B, their R&B's uh, brewery has put up so many good beers that they can't keep up with their own stuff. And 
has had us back to the same problem of yeah. shit. We so don't have a place was, to make our beer because yeah, they are so popular. R&B's beer. beer has definitely increased in quality. So yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's really yeah. similar. Yeah. Their Vancouver Special yeah. IPA, I had that beer yeah. at, in all places, Maple Ridge. That's where you have all the Vancouver Specials. Yeah, and uh, is that? I would imagine. I don't know. I don't think so, but anyway. <laughs> I don't even spend a lot of time in Fort I spend a little too much time there. There's uh, Vancouver Specials in Langley, so there has to be Vancouver Specials in Fort Ridge. There you go. Yeah. I'll do it too mm -hmm. one day. Um, <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, man, I drank that beer and I just, I was like, if this was made two years ago, people would have lost their shit. Yeah. It is such mm -hmm. a decent, like, it's 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 not a 10 out of 10 IPA. Yeah, not, no. But it is a very, very good quality West Coast style IPA. And yeah, three years ago, that beer had come out. They would have been. The groundbreaker. It would have been like that. How about back when um, Vine and Hops gave us the tour around town? Yes. Where we got. Yes, when they were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike on Mike trouble? Mike on no, Mike they, We got a, a bunch of us media people got a tour of. R&B, Fellows on Warlock, where did we go? Uh, we went four to Winds. Four Winds, but there's one oh, um, Dogwood. And Dogwood. But R&B wasn't open yet, and they were seen pouring beers for us. So there was well, some was our photos that we, we took. Yeah, four we posted on our blog. Exactly. They got in trouble. Open. So they got in trouble for so it. they didn't have the license. Yeah. Oh, what kind of trouble? Like serious fines trouble? Uh, the hell they got the license. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did they? Yeah. Like they didn't yeah. have the license yet, and that's why they got in trouble, and so yeah. that was pushed back a bit because, but because we were great, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. But it was, I think we had this chat at some point, some bar, yeah. we bumped into each other about how cool it is, you know, in the states that had this, you know, and has a bush by was it Wicked Weed just the other yeah. day? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Elysian got bought up Seattle, obviously Ballast yeah. Point, Ten Barrel, Ten Barrel, and Portland or Portland area. So this is and the next stage. Well, yeah, this is the next stage. So Stanley Park. Thing in Canada. Yeah, Stanley Park. Stanley but Park was owned by the Bats. Yeah, they're... Which is ABM. Yeah. 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 Um, and they... Inbev just got bought out by somebody else, I think, didn't they? They're owned by, like, that Brazilian... Okay, well, well ABM is Mark the Brazilian Davis. company. Yeah. Um, Which also the biggest producer Davis. in the world. No. But um, no, it's kind of cool to see R&B didn't get necessarily bought by one of those guys. They got bought by... Um, obviously, no, it's a larger awesome. brewery, yeah. but it's still a local brewery and still has like that. I mean, I think you can still see that passion in their beer. Like, oh, yeah. House Sound, five years ago, when I first started getting into beer, or five, six, seven, I'm older than I thought I was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, nearly 30. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's. I wish I was still nearly 30. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're, they're still making great stuff, and for a long time, they were my favorite brewery, and I would make the, the drive up. And it's still a family brewery. Yeah, yeah. it's and and awesome. They're yeah. in Squamish, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the fact that R&B is owned by House Sound to me means nothing. Uh, in fact, yeah. it's made it almost better. Yeah, it has made it better. Oh, yes. kept, it, it's kept. I'm a huge advocate for small business, local business. It keeps everything within the local community. Mm -hmm. like the money goes back into our community. Everything yeah. goes into our community. And they kept on. Is it the R or the E or the both? Barry is still there. Yeah. 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 And uh, I had a great chat with, I think, Barry the last uh, BC Craft Beer Awards. And, uh, you know, he, I just mentioned to him briefly, I was like, oh, I bought a keg from you guys three years ago. And that, that, you know, that little thing alone, we had a five, ten minute conversation on that where he thanked me for keeping the business afloat. Um, yeah. And, like, you're not getting that out of, you know, an anheuser Bush owned brewery. No. So um, to see how sound. You know, expand in some ways, but still keep the heart there. It's, yeah, it's absolutely. But I mean, I don't think R&B would still be alive if they didn't put in that restaurant. No. No. Yeah. No. Well, that that little tasting room that we're at that restaurant is yeah. so it's so great. Like it's, it doesn't feel like it's like what we were talking about. Like ah, they're yeah. opening a restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's it has there's so much spirit and like yeah. um, the whole the area around there has really embraced it. And I'm sorry, but yeah. vinyl's cool, but they have real to real music players. Yeah. <laughs> like that is the next level. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even they understand like what you said. Like the old fire. <laughs> Stove yeah. in there no, with like awesome. magnets yeah, and really all awesome. of the National Geographic. The speakers on the wall, <laughs> the real speakers. Yeah. And their, I really like their milkshake. That was one. Yes. Yes, yes, the shake and fruity. Uh, shake and fruity, yeah. So good. I, I bought a bottle, it. didn't like it, and then mm -hmm. I went there two weeks ago and so I had good. it on top, and it was. This just goes to show like beer is a living thing. And yeah. Depending on how you get it. Especially the Northeast. Yeah, especially the Northeast. I have absolute. But yeah, on tap, 
Great beer. Yeah. Great beer. I had that same experience with Flagship. Yep. When I first tried it in the bottle, I'm like, I don't get it. Why is it's this species best bottle. beer? Yeah. This is this is shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> but then my office is about ten minutes away from their variety bird. Oh, and I went there on uh, so we go out on Fridays <laughs> to, to drink house, beer. We spend a lot of time there. And I'm like, holy yeah. shit, this is a completely it's different animal. Cool. And I'm like, I get it now. Mm -hmm. This fresh, I get. And then being the marketing guy, it brings me back to think about like when people say drink beer we get it because we're nerds and we know what it means. Yeah. But when someone tells someone that likes beer and maybe they drink macro, if their friends bring over craft, we'll drink that. But if they hear drink fresh beer, it means nothing. Mm -hmm. Like what does that mean? Well, it's, it's interesting because it's like counterintuitive to anyone who like drinks just alcohol in general, yeah. like you age wine, you age yeah. any kind of spirit, That's and it's like general knowledge beer, of yeah, it, it does go bad. It like well, and some things can age. Like, but I'm I'm finding, um, so when we were talking about like saving beers for the future, the only yeah. way I can save beers is if I put them in the back of my bookshelf, so I forget about them, <laughs> and they're hidden by books, no, and I don't realize until I'm like, I can read an Archie comic tonight and go to pull that down. Archie like, comics, so many. But you pull one down, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, it has to be hidden behind something obscure enough that I'm not just like, oh, yes, I'm in the middle of this excellent book. Like, yeah. It needs to be a little, yeah. like a guilty pleasure or something that I'm not going to admit that I read. And it's encyclopedias, the um, and then it just became a totally exactly. awesome evening. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's, and if, if they've been hidden for a long time, depending on the style of beer, some things are good, sometimes they're very, very, very bad. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of those beers did not age very well. Um, <laughs> that earlier. Yeah, you take your risk. I, I mean, like, and you know, the ideal situation is dark corner, um, cool but not yeah, cool. Yeah, to, to you know maybe cellar temperature. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. in the closet. Well, that and there seems to be a lot of argument about what cellar temperature actually is. Like, depending yeah. on where you are. Things don't age well in the fridge, though. It's too cold. Yeah. It, well, it should. It's it, almost stasis for. Well, yeah. if you're going to age it, it's not going to age it in needs the fridge. Something. It's going to settle. Yeah. Well, I think it too. Aging, we're getting way off topic. But aging, well, no. no. Oh, there we go. It's good because we've been yeah. on topic a few times. Aging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> aging is, is it's not it hasn't been as aging beer except for you know, Belgians and that's not an animal. But um, we don't know as much about aging beer as we do about aging wine mm. or aging anything else really. In the turn or in the realm of aging alcohol, aging beer is a relatively new concept. Well, there's there's a lot more variance in ingredients to mm -hmm. what's in beer versus anything else. Like, there are things like lactose that do go bad right. eventually. Well, unfortunately, it's, like, it's more complicated. Don't watch that. Well, it's, it's, mm -hmm. I've had so this argument so many times. It's stupid. With, Wine people, with stupid dummies. wine people, and not <laughs> not saying that wine people are stupid, but stupid wine people. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, they're so much more complex. So it's, it's one ingredient. The grape speaks for itself. Yes, there's things that go into the, the terroir of the grape, and blah blah blah. But there's at least four ingredients in beer, and every one of those needs to be manipulated to a certain degree to create yeah. this beer. Well, there's there's different kinds, and there's yeah. arguments about that. Even does need to be an ingredient yeah. in beer. Exactly. It did not cellar my first bottle of the Steamworks and I had. Um, <coughs> the first bottle that I had that I was keeping for a while was just like rolling around the back of my car and like the like, heat and stuff. Yeah. And then I would, I'm glad that I didn't bring that one to the collaboration podcast and I drank it. Yeah. And I think I'd already been drinking that night because I popped it and was like, I should just dump this down the drain. Like, it was that bad. Good thing I hate it, so which is certain point, yeah. Where it's just like yeah, personal. Yeah. But we won't drink this right now, but after four more beer, yeah. this will be good. Yeah, it was like, I'll put a little cap on it and I'll put it in the fridge and see how I feel about it tomorrow. <laughs> Not the case with this one though. This is that's, great. That's it. It is yeah, so maybe good. we should talk about this a little bit. Yeah, other than just complaining about everything. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the streets from Trillium, it's, it's really still good. Nice. juicy. Lots of like tropical oh, notes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So good. Yeah. So it's not. It's not bitter, but that's typical. Yeah, and I mean, I think I, I think you're going to post. It. I don't even remember what I'm doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I'm, Why are we here? What am I doing? Uh, I think I, I wrote a post about uh, Northeast Dales, and I think the, the key thing is people need to understand, like, these, these aren't, they don't fit style guidelines, right? Mm -hmm. it's, they're not IPAs. And I think we talked about this in terms of uh, the Goza earlier, like, it's, it's not an IPA by any stretch. It's not an English IPA, it's not 
and a West Coast IPA. It's not an IPA. They've just been called IPA simply because of how much hops are used in order to get these flavors. Yes. Well, and but also just sorry, side note, and what we've learned from mm -hmm. the lovely Adam Brown is that if you put IPA on anything, it sells a yeah. hundred times better mm -hmm. than anything yeah. else. So you can make it oh, you can But there is yeah. there's there's a rationale for calling it an IPA, yes, and that is, is because you use more hops in this beer than you do in any West Coast IPA if yes. you're doing it right. The difference mm -hmm. is that if you put but hops in at the start of the boil, you get bitterness. If you put it in right at the end of the brew, you get that. But if yeah. you have if you have the option to like, ooh, we could categorize it as this or that, it's like you know it could be either or. Yeah. You call it an IPA. It's a new style though, right? Better. So yeah. it's it's sort of pushing. Like I like how they do put the prefix northeast or New England or Vermont style, yeah. as opposed to the jerks who call it Goza Goza all the time, even when it's like the West Coast Goza. <laughs> um, so I mean, like it is coming into its, yeah, it is coming into its own. That's right. It's coming into its own, and it's like. No, I I don't even know where I'm. Yeah. Jose. Yeah. Yeah. Jose. Yeah. Jose. Yeah. That just sucks. Uh, no, it's it's like I mean I know at, at Twin and some of the other places they don't even bother counting IV. Because yeah. it's, 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 it's not it's un, un, totally unimportant to the beer. Well, especially for Northeast, because it's it's people not, think of IBU for bitterness. <clears throat> That's going to throw, it throws people off a lot, yeah. too. It's yeah. like, oh, 70 IBU is not really helping. Yeah. That's like, well, it, no, it depends. Uh, it totally know. depends. It's a mathematical formula they figure out. With it's a chemical measure. If you look at the board yeah, and you see 70 IBU yeah. and you don't want to try the beer, you don't deserve it. <laughs> oh, oh. How do you get uh, your highest IBU beer? It's like if you're, uh, if you're scared off by IBU, you, you don't deserve it. Yeah. Um, it's a dumb thing people do. I'm still learning the difference though between Northeast and West Coast because. Oh, one's on the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm learning. Um, is it like what? <laughs> I can bring up a map. We can go over this two we're seconds and we're just not going to be good. We don't know anything about this. Exactly. <laughs> 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 the that I would have thought were like that I was drinking all IPAs and I'm like, I love West Coast. Yum, yum, yum. And then someone's like, flagship's northeast. And I was like, oh, shit. What? But it was fruit <laughs> on the West Coast also. Yeah, but yeah. Like, I thought that it was like, it's fruity and it's drinkable. Well, no, it's I, I, I just say, I had a lot of, basically all I drink now is because I just have this, like all these fucking beers, it's insane. Basically all I drink is Northeast, but when mm -hmm. I try the- Plus brewers, bro. Yeah, <laughs> basically all Northeast. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah the, the flagship is more of a hybrid to me in that it does. Yeah, it it's does not have a true a, Northeast. It's not a true Northeast, and they do hop it in the, the front end, which gives it that better. It's still a great beer. It's, it's actually so a very sweet. nicely balanced beer. It's, like, it's yeah, so, so West Coast to me. Exactly, it's, it's both those things. And you put a fucking citra hop in there, you don't get to call yourself a Northeast IPA. I disagree. I disagree. I okay, yeah, fair. Uh, but then, it's like, that's foggy, though. Like, that's foggy. That's foggy as fuck. The color of the beer, or like, the Well, should we get our switchblades out? Yeah. I'm not wrong, Daisy. But, like, the Steamworks is only slightly cloudy, it's not like a particularly hazy. What's the yeah. tone of the beer? Death. <laughs> <laughs> there is no tone it can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I get it. It's, it's like, I mean, at some point, you just like, it tastes good, I'm gonna drink it. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know what, I can't. That should be the rule for everything. My party path, like when I used to go to a house party or something, was always for the longest time, two bombers and a six pack of yep. caribou. Because, oh. like, after you drink the bombers, <laughs> and then you it's like wine. Like, well, you open the sheet. I don't see that. Caribou doesn't taste like beer to me. Mm -hmm. It does not taste like beer. It's not beer. It's, it's a bit sweet. It's fizzy. Like, mm -hmm. and it's too fizzy. It's, it's not alcohol. beer to me. It's, but, yeah, it's like alcohol it's pop. Um, and at that point, when I've had two bombers to start the night, mm -hmm. and I'm at a house party, like, I just want something cheap that I can sip. Bona. And then I'll mm -hmm. leave the, the actual two or three mm -hmm. there. Dude, Bowen yeah, Island VSB, it's not Bowen VSB, it's one of my yeah. favorite yeah. beers. You know what, Bowen Island, and I've said this and I will say it again, best value for the best. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find now. Yeah. Yeah. Easy for me to find, it's all over like, yeah. south of the river. Really <laughs> the, 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 the thing about, if I can speak about Bowen Island's marketing, unnecessary waste of money. 
People don't buy Bowen Island because of the market, mm -hmm. because of the label. They buy it because of the price point. Didn't the brand get bought again? Oh, it's owned by uh, Whistler Brewing. Mm -hmm. It's the Northern Brewery. It's, it's, so, it's yeah. such a waste of money. Their, their label was fine. They didn't need to revitalize the brand. They just wasted money to stay at the same price point. There's no change in the brand. The only change is the label. It's they have some new, new beers, though. Like, then that's a new beer. That's Actually, you don't need to... The, the craziest thing is I've been trying their new uh, new branding beers. Their ISA is more flavorful than a lot of ISAs. It's, <laughs> it's, it's decent. They have an I ISA? Will, if I'm, yes. That's all the branding you need. Yeah. You put it in ISA. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I, I get frustrated with people with this money. You look like someone that gets frustrated. So Why is it? It's absurd. Why is Powell rebranding? Why are they changing their They're logos not even, and their they beer and the recipe? They dropped a word. They totally Couple. changed their <laughs> labels. <laughs> Calibrate is at a house from Craft Brewing Company. This is something we should talk about. I don't nah. think so. I think we're past nah. that. Are we, let's do it. Are we, 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 could we, just, we could just finish up here. Let's just cut it and let's get down. All right. Let's get down. So Real thoughts, business. But not things that will say. Okay. We have business to run. We have to, there's like an on. Well, I mean, we're probably done anyways now anyways. And we can just. Yeah. Up and then just keep chatting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, totally. We can right, well. get into some shit. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Just okay. just just thanks for, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me just finish it up first. Okay. Thanks for joining us at this collaboration podcast with <laughs> some beer chat and Off Notes. Mm -hmm. Where can uh, people find Off Notes podcast? Oh, at Off oh. Notes podcast. Everywhere. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to do it with her. You can find us on Twitter at Off Notes podcast. You can find us on Instagram at Off Notes podcast. You can find us at Gmail at Off Notes podcast. You can find us on Untapped at Off Notes Podcast, which we never use, so don't look for us there. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find us at PacificBeerChat.com or on Instagram, Pacific Beer Chat. <laughs> Cheers. Pacific Beer Chat. I think it's a week. Thanks for tuning into this episode. Find our show on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music, YouTube, or your favorite podcast site or app at Pacific Beer Chat. Please leave us a review as it helps spread the word about the show and helps new listeners find our episodes. You can find Pacific Beer Chat on social media at Pacific Beer Chat on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Send us an email at feedback at PacificBeerChat.com with any feedback or comments. We'd love to hear from you. You can also find us at PacificBeerChat.com. We are part of the Hopped Up Network, an international craft beer podcast network. If you enjoy this craft beer focused show or any other craft beer focused shows, check out hoppedupnetwork.com. And thanks to Tim of craftbeertourist.com for designing our brand new logo. Thanks to Kevin Ems of Conundrum for allowing us to use the song Lothian in the intro to the podcast. You can find Conundrum on Instagram and Facebook at Music of Conundrum. You can also find them at conundrum-music.bandcamp.com. To play us out, here is the full version of Lothian. Cheers.
Again. 